Here we go, baby. GT350 twin turbo first startup. All right, guys, while I was finishing up the seat on the Mustang, getting all that finished up for the event, Doug was under here and check it out. He got the entire turbo kit finished up under here. And now we're ready to take it for its first start. Anyways though, um, exhaust comes down through the manifolds, right? Turns the exhaust turbine, which rotates the compressor housing or the compressor turbine, pulls air through these filters right here, um, shoves it through this piping, through the intercooler, up into the intake manifold, uh, through the throttle body, all that good stuff. So that's pretty much how a turbo kit works for those of you that aren't aware. It has been one, uh, one interesting day, I will say, because we've had a lot of stuff to do in a very short amount of time we've been cramming everything together trying to get everything done for this event we don't even know if this is going to work it's a very untested setup we're praying crossing our fingers that we can make it work because we've got to pretty much get this thing together and drive it four hours across the state into texas uh, and then four hours back home so we've got an eight hour total road trip on a completely untested car tomorrow is uh when we're leaving we're leaving tomorrow morning so we've got like probably 15 hours from right now until we leave so i'm probably not going to be sleeping but we've got to get this car data logged and tuned and everything still over email but it's just this is going to be an interesting process to say the least so anyways the injectors are in base tune is on like you guys remember i said that we got the base tune flashed onto the car everything should be good to go so i guess we're going to go ahead and give it the first start with twin turbos this is i don't even know what to say this is nuts this was a project that was thought about and is finished less than a week later just to give you guys some uh try to have like a judge of time frame i really do want to thank once again doug this is like absolutely impossible if it wasn't for doug so make sure you guys comment down below say some nice stuff for doug like his little heart <laughs> How confident are you in your twin turbo skills? Like 95%. Okay. Well, that's good. That's a good average. That's, uh, I guess I'm going to set the camera down right here so that way you guys can hear from the outside and we're going to give this thing a start. Here we go, baby. GT350 twin turbo first startup. It's running. <laughs> Twin Turbo GT350 first startup was a success. We've got very good oil pressure. Breathing horsepower out. Oh, is that what it is? Breathing in air, breathing out horsepower over there. Uh, we do not have an exhaust on yet, but we will. We will. Remember, I got to do the X pipe and everything, but we'll get to that in a little bit. We've got our new DRLs as well that are in here. These are the OPT7 arrow turn signals. We got those in. Pull boys just arrived. Anyways, though, we're going to be good now to go ahead and slap the front bumper back on now that we verify that there is no leaks. Whole squad's pulling up. <laughs> I can hear Rob here now. Look at that. It looks like a whole car again. Look at the intercooler. Oh my <laughs> god. Dude. You want to paint that or not? I know you I know you have a GT350, but like you're not a sleeper anymore. You just No, that is far knows. from sleeper. That is like screaming. I'm boosted. Alright guys, if you have not seen Post Channel, go check it out. Mr. Poboy is about to come in here and do some welding magic. We've got to weld up this exhaust. We're running out of time pretty quickly, so we're trying to hurry. We gotta weld up this exhaust right here and then put the X pipe on between the little uh pipes that he's welding, these S pipes. They're gonna go from the down pipe, curve over to the center, then we're gonna have an X pipe right here we're gonna cut it clamp it here clamp it here and then he's gonna weld everything intermediate between those two spots so let's go ahead and get this done thank you po See your thing, boy. so this is pretty much the finished product look at how beautiful that thing is dude y'all did freaking great holy crap teamwork that looks good it's a dream work that looks really 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 good so basically what happens is this is gonna slip this is like completely custom fat by the way but anyways it's gonna slip up onto the down pipe here and clamp back there and then it's going to clamp back here as well so we've got two clamp points so it is a completely removable x pipe and the good thing about it is that it's got active exhaust in the back so we've got pretty much the ability to make it loud keep it quiet whatever just uh hopefully not get me in any trouble so after today oh well nice that's on fire <laughs> after today we got in a little bit of trouble on the black car doing a data log so i'm trying to trying to not do that anymore i'm trying to keep everything quiet and keep everything legal so there is a cop behind me. Oh yeah, the X pipe is up in place now and everything looks great. We've got no more resonators. We've just got twin turbos. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? What do you, you mean, mean shot it with no gas? No, no battery. The battery's on it. The battery's on it. Dog, why don't you hurry up and put the battery on? <laughs> it's already on. Okay, so like I know it's a GT350 and all, but like it's a sleeper GT350. Oh yeah. This is your daily? This 
my daily, bro. Damn. Awesome. Your daily is a GT350 and it's twin turbo. For only $20, you can win oh that $20. Corvette. It's sleeper status too because you can't hear it. It really Until is. Until it's with what? And then you're like, oh no, I shouldn't have raced it. <laughs> you're like, yes. <laughs> Y'all, Gavin's working his ass off. Give him a like on this video. I think the craziest part is that it feels so tame. Yeah. Oh, you can hear it. <laughs> it drives just like, just like the stock. Like, this is impressive. Decent at recovering, so all right, here we go. No. <laughs> Dude, give me some of that! Holy! I'll look back and make them more the way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I do. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's see. Dude, what are you doing to me? What do you mean? I just got done doing a fing pull, you d oh you got me you got me in love with this fing car. Oh, is it is it does it seem somewhat fast on the Me and Doug just went and took it on its like first little Hail Mary drive and like cannot even stop smiling. That was the craziest thing ever. I mean turbos are different than blowers, for sure. Yeah, I love this. This is insane. I come from turbo cars, so I kind of know what to expect. Yeah, Doug's had, he's had a bunch of turbo cars. He's never had a, a blown car. That's, I've only had superchargers. Doug's only had turbos, so now we're meeting in the middle with this car. I just wanted to call you and tell you thank you so much for everything, because I'm like a schoolgirl right now. You're helping me in. I love putting up. It's my You're going to have to make another hit tonight, so don't get too excited. Oh, dude, that's oh, yeah. that's perfect. I'm I'm looking forward to it. All right, well, look, we're pulling back up to the shop. I'm gonna send you this log real quick, so let me let you go right quick. <laughs> oh, let me explain something here. This motherfucker's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Turbos are real wild. The reason why people go supercharger, and I'm about to hurt a lot of people's feelings, and I'm gonna just be honest. The reason why a lot of people go supercharger is because they can't afford turbos. Oh my god, I just heard everyone. Get I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't afford. I Wait. probably could afford a supercharger on my car Hello. faster than I could do turbos. I've got a supercharged car, so I can say that. How hey. good of a mood is he in? How do you feel about LS? Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't insult LS. Damn, you're in a really good mood. Dude, I've never been so happy. This car is a animal. We only did to 6,500. What are you redlining at? 7,000 on this one? 7,500? 8,000? 8,500? We got our new tuner vision put on. Hell Horse just now sent it back up. Listen to that. <laughs> that sounds so dope. This time, we're doing wide open throttle, third gear from 3,000 RPMs all the way up to 8,000 RPMs, which is extremely high, except for the fact that you guys gotta remember this Voodoo engine is a flat plane crank, so should be able to handle it, especially being that we just did the oil pump gears and crank sprockets, so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to run you on nitrous now. Actually, it'll probably be a good run on nitrous. So. How it sits like like this. <laughs> what the f is Poe doing? What in the hell? <laughs> I like how this thing just has the wildest whistle to it. Y'all hear that? 
feel like me and you just had a baby together. We did. Good job on the baby. <laughs> kind of. Uh, so that's probably going to be a wrap for today's video. Poe is trying to do a burnout for some reason. I, I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We freaking twin turbo a car. And a week ago from li literally like six days ago, this was just an idea. We were like, ah, maybe we could do it. And we did. It's crazy. Uh, it feels great. He just laid it over. What is he doing? Oh my god, po. bro. He's gonna hurt himself. What is he doing? Po! Just go home. Uh, we got a finalized tune coming tomorrow, so we should be able to do some really, really good pulls. But so far, it feels great. So uh, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Drop a like on this video, comment down below, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Running on, yeah, yeah. Running on, yeah, that's right. Tell these bitches, please stay in your lane, move along. I take a trip across the pond just to flex. Papa saying, yeah, we got a long flight home. Say she got a man, but that ring is gone. She my greatest fan, play this song, she sing along.